All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and this is a cautionary tale about what you buy first, a roll cart or a toolbox. I'm standing in front of Josh's toolbox and his roll cart. Now, he bought the toolbox first. It's a Matco 4S, and we'll get into that in a little bit about the details of that. And he's, of course, he's got a roll cart that, you know, looks kind of like mine, except it's blue trim. I get questioned a lot about, I'm in school, I can get a good deal on a toolbox, should I do it? And my answer is almost always, probably not. If you can afford to pay cash for a toolbox, yes, you can get a great deal on a toolbox in school. The problem is, is when you get out into the real world, you wind up, with a toolbox that doesn't move and you're going back and forth to the toolbox with tools because you don't have a roll cart like this or you wind up getting a you know cheap harbor freight little two drawer you know roll cart or something like that and you wind up losing efficiency when your efficiency is really being watched when you're paid hourly and it really just winds up being detrimental to your career starting out now if you're working at a dealership and you're out of one bay and toolbox is right there, it's basically your workbench, it makes sense. But if you're working in a shop where you might have two bays and it becomes drudgery going back and forth through the toolbox and you lose a lot of efficiency. Before we added Christian, Josh had the bay over there and the bay over there. And when he came in, he only had this toolbox. His efficiency was pretty poor because he'd go get a tool, go do something, put it back on his toolbox, grab something else, go back. He kept losing efficiency by having to walk to his toolbox, put the tool down, grab another tool, go back to the car instead of being able to stay at the car like you can with a roll cart. Cautionary tale of this is Josh bought this at the shop he worked at before us. Now in that shop, he had some security issues, so this might have walked off, so it's kind of understandable he bought a toolbox. It was a repossession. It was not, he didn't pay full price for it. It was a repossession, so he got a deal on it. And his Matco dealer is our Matco dealer, so Robbie took care of him. You know, he didn't, you know, gouge him on it. He was a young kid, you know, he's only 21, so Robbie took care of him. Once he got into a shop that was higher paced, once he got into a shop that was faster paced, he quickly realized that having the toolbox instead of a roll cart was detrimental to efficiency. So when it comes to, if you're gonna spend the money on a toolbox or roll cart through one of the tool trucks, you need to get a roll cart with drawers. Why? Well, if you get one of the larger ones, it will be your toolbox for many years. Whereas if you get a toolbox, you're gonna have to get a roll cart eventually and you're in a bunch of debt because you've got a toolbox and a roll cart. If you just go ahead and buy a roll cart in the beginning, you'll be ahead because you can pull this up to the car, work efficiently, you don't have to keep going back to a toolbox. Now, I know some guys are gonna scream, oh, well, these are really expensive. Yes, they are. I understand that. Starting out, I recommend, starting out, I recommend the Harbor Freight five drawer, or you can go Harbor Freight, you know, Craftsman, get one of their single bank roll cabs without a top box, and use it as a roll cart, just like one of these. For years, I used a, I actually bought it as a snap-on, but they quickly rebranded it as a Blue Point toolbox as a diagnostic cart. Flat top, diagnostic stuff in that cart, and kept my scan tool on top. It's a good option. I mean, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money with the tool trucks to get a roll cart, again. A single bank craftsman will work decent for you for a while. Stepping up to a roll cart like this, you can buy them used a lot of times too, by the way, is gonna be a toolbox you can use for a long time as your only toolbox. And then 
as you fill this up, either get a Harbor Freight Toolbox or you know Husky or one of those other companies, or if you can afford it and you want to, before anybody starts screaming, Tool Vault, Tool Vault, Tool Vault. I know somebody's gonna post it in the comments, or step up to a you know toolbox. Keep in mind, a lot of times people will trade these in, you can get deals, just like this was a repossession. Always options to get deals. So make sure and you know wait for the deal. My point of this video is if you're getting into the automotive trade and you're wanting to buy a toolbox from the tool truck, Snap-on, Matco, Mac, whatever, you really should be leaning more towards one of these roll carts like this rather than a toolbox. It's much more efficient, much less money, much easier to, to use day in, day out over a toolbox. Wait for your career to advance to get a toolbox. This is what you want. One, when you're starting out, you may change jobs. These are a pain in the butt to move. You know, big toolboxes are a pain to move. You know, when I move shops, I call a rollback. This, you can get a cheap trailer from U-Haul and load it up on there, no big deal, move it to the next place. Those suck to try to get onto to a U-Haul. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Comments are always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.